Well, thankfully, not every football league has labor problems. But last night, Green Bay Blizzard's playoff run came to an end in the conference finals. Lost to the Sioux Falls Storm 52 to 12. And joining us now here in the Sports Center on the edge after the long drive back to <laughs> Sioux Falls, Blizzard coach uh, Rick Richardson. Yeah, a nine hour bus trip back. And you guys had all the time to think, but it's still a very successful season for you guys at 12 and 4. 12 wins, uh, a nice little nine and a half hour ride back gives you a little bit of time to think about. Uh, what went right for us last uh, this was last season, and uh, what went wrong for us? And uh, last night we just run out of bullets in the gun and run out of all the smoke and mirrors, and uh, didn't have a healthy quarterback, <laughs> and went out there and got beat pretty darn good by a very good Sioux Falls uh, football team. Uh, Sioux Falls heading now down onto the finals, but as you mentioned, you guys have had a lot of uh, different adversity this year for sure, where a lot of injuries. You guys ran through a lot of players, a quarterback crisis at the end of the year, but managed to hold it together and get all the way to the conference finals. You know, uh, 62 guys we went through this year. On a 21-man roster, that's an awful lot of guys, but um, we did hold it together. Uh, we talk about family, and a lot of people talk about it in sports, trying to get people to play together, but uh, we genuinely did play for everybody. Um, and uh, last night, you know, Willie had the fractures in his hand, uh, Copeland's knee was not healthy, and, and our third string that had won the final regular season for us was out for the year with the torn rotator cuff. And it just kind of, uh, uh, you go into it last night, and, and we were trying to keep our cards close to the vest, but uh, <laughs> Sioux Falls is pretty good and exposed us very early well, on. You get to a point where you, you got to have the horses to be able to win the race. And you, it, you know, I, it kind of broke down there at the end, but still a very successful season. You got to be really happy with the way the season as a whole ended up this year. Definitely, you know, second year here, winning another division championship, getting. Uh, a game farther into the conference championship round and uh, 22 wins and, and eight losses in two years is good but seeing the end last night Sioux Falls holding the trophy and being where we want to be that it kind of resonates inside you what you got to do and you start thinking about what you can do for next year and mm -hmm. and uh, we're already ready to start chomping at the butt and see if we can get some guys in here that can help push us over the top well let's talk a little bit about the season as a whole because as we mentioned the first half lost to start it but then a string of wins and it seems like you guys gelled pretty quickly uh, this year as you ran off a whole bunch of bunch of, right there at the very beginning with the Wichita Bloomington and Nebraska and uh, Richmond and Redding I mean that really running through that first half of the season you know and that's that's odd because we had a lot of rookies. We were teaching up everybody from the jump. That first game of the season, the 20-point loss to Bloomington, we only had six guys that ever played indoors before. And we had uh, seven turnovers in that game, and really the, the, the pace of the game, things like that, it really caught us off guard. And then we go and we run off five, six, seven, eight wins in a row, um, and they're learning. They're learning on the go, and, and they understand what we're asking of them, and uh, they understand that we've got an awful lot of talent. And, uh, you know, even with the NFL lockout going on today and the season now over, we're getting calls from AFL teams, UFL teams, and we do have some talented players that are going to be playing somewhere. Um, if, the, if the lockout doesn't end, they're going to go play football in another league at well, some point. Let, let's talk a little bit about kind of midway then through the season. Not everything totally rosy for the Blizzard <laughs> this year, obviously. Something you thought was going to be a good thing. Robert Garth was a very popular player. <laughs> Superman came back didn't quite work out. Uh, kind of a crazy uh, game against lacrosse. Uh, and, but did that fire you guys up? I mean, you lost the next one, but it then really rolled going toward the playoffs. Well, uh, Robert, I, I tried to put Robert on staff last year. and um, <laughs> I, I remember him at the opening press conference it, sitting in the back yes. saying, hey, coach, I can still play. <laughs> I, I don't think Robert was quite ready to, to be a coach. I think he still had it in him to be an athlete. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, that didn't quite work out last year. And then this year with all the injuries, at some point, one day I just pulled into his driveway and he was, I honked the horn, he come out, I said, you wanna play some football? He said, yep. The next morning he was at practice and uh, it didn't work out so well because we got in a little skirmish there with scuffle. lacrosse and uh, we lost some players. You know, we lost Garth, we lost probably our best NFL prospect in Chris Bell. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to suspend him for the season and uh, even through all that, at the midway point, uh, our last loss up until last night was Sioux Falls there in the middle. Right. Uh, after lacrosse, we went there without our Keith and without Jeremiah and without Garth and without Bell. And um, through all the suspensions and all the injuries, we really did stick together and understand that you got to depend on people. And mm -hmm. uh, in life, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to have your back against the wall and you're going to be in tough spots. And it doesn't always work out the way you want. You know, mm -hmm. life is what happens when you make another plan. Yeah, and exactly. and uh, we were having a good, good run of it. And sometimes it'll throw you a curveball. And it did. And um, we were able to hit it. 
and uh, last night it hit us. And uh, <laughs> that's just kind of the way it goes. You've got to you got to roll with the punches and make backup plans, and that's uh, that's kind of where we're at now. It's it was a good run there in the middle, and um, see where we go. Yeah, well, a quick look at the back end of this uh, of the second half, the playoffs, the winning streak. You guys, as you said, ended up having all those quarterback problems. Uh, but, you know, as it turned out, you guys uh, ended up getting there into the playoffs and uh, in the playoffs, rolled off that first win and then uh, then were able to make it uh, until, you, like you say, ran into that bus. Well, hey, best of luck. We appreciate it. It's uh, been a lot of fun. You know, you see a lot. It's, it's weird to see all those scores because they're all 60s and 70s. Yeah, and last then suddenly, night you see bing, the 12. Well, I mean, and, that, and that happens. Like you said, you've yeah. got to be healthy to be able to do it. Coach, thanks for Very good to see you. We appreciate it. Appreciate you coming. For more on this team's season, just head to our website, foxlivingonline.com. Go to our sports section. Click on the story about the blizz. For more on the season finale, Coach, thanks for joining us.